Ever since the bestseller came out, The Secret, people have been into the law of attraction. The law of attraction. So many attempt to use it and it doesn't seem to work. Why is that? Is it because the predominant thought behind the law of attraction for most people is wanting something? Wanting. And as we all know, what we give out, we get back. So we give out wanting, we want something, and the universe says yes, and gives us more wanting. In other words, wanting something is not going to get you what you desire. So how can you get it? According to this man, Dr. Masuro Emoto, we are made, our physical bodies are made up mostly of water. And water registers our thoughts. If we think very pure thoughts, if that water within us is frozen down into crystals, then we evoke or mould into being beautiful crystals. This is what we've got inside. And if we have a lot of angst, anxiety, anger and hate inside, then the crystals come out, if frozen, deformed. Now, Dr. Emoto put in a lot of research and he came to the conclusion after many years that the most beautiful concept that we can have within ourselves is not just love, not just loving unconditionally, but love and gratitude. Gratitude, he, he feels, is even more important to us than love. He talks about H2O, two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen. And the inference is that we need twice as much gratitude as we need love. Now, I don't know whether this is true or not, but obviously Dr. Emoto has put in a lot of research and he realises that one of the best things that we can do for ourselves, for our health, for our well-being, and for the well-being of all those we associate with, is to put our emphasis on gratitude. What we're grateful for. Why is this? Because we're sending out to the universe, thank you universe for giving me what I want. You're giving out what you're receiving. Feeling gratitude for what you're receiving. So what does the universe respond with? Gives you more things to be gratitude, to feel gratitude for. So the more gratitude you have in you, the more things will come your way. This is the way I look at it anyway. And after a while, you will find that a lot of things that you felt you desired, you no longer desire. Once that feeling of gratitude starts to take hold, you realise of all the things that you have got already, the wonderful things you have got, the things you take so much for granted, the ability to see and look, to hear, to taste, to smell, to touch, all of these five senses working perfectly for you. Do you take them for granted? Be grateful for them. I found that starting a book, a gratitude book, and writing in a few things every day of what you're grateful for will make a big difference in your life, to your happiness, to your contentment, to your feelings of joy. Gratitude. The attitude of gratitude. Probably one of the most important things that we can have for ourselves and for the world around us.